Hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link. But luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you can all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dive and dash off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the ledge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough? I should think. But you need to hear them again? Nope. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today's a special day for many reasons, but it is also our 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose! Hey. Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey. Go! Oh god, it starts! Here we go! Alright, it's time! This is it. I can't let Groose win because, yeah, Zelda is gonna give us the gift. And, uh, Gruz has a major crush on her, and I don't want that to happen, so we're gonna try our best to win this. And, uh, yeah, so this is actually fairly easy. It's actually, okay, I didn't know they can actually interfere with you that easily, but this is a fairly easy race to win. All you want to do is make sure once you get close enough to spam your charging against a bird and not get caught like that at all. <laughs> Where, where did it go now? Okay. But yeah, don't worry, you're not- I believe you can't actually lose this. Like, there's no way of losing this race, because Link is gonna win it. So yeah, I spoiled it for those who don't know. There's no way Groose is gonna get her, uh, his hands on Zelda's sailcloth thing that's gonna be the gift. So, yeah, once I do get one more charge, I can easily pick this up. Come on! Uh, for some reason I'm having a lot of trouble doing so. I remember this being- okay, there- oh, I could've caught it. Remember this being fairly easy. There we go. Now I got my chance. And yeah, Gruz is going to stop me in my track. So I haven't won yet. You have to do this twice. And the second time, somehow they have giant eggs that they're going to chuck at your face. So that's what's happening right now. So we just got to avoid them and, well, keep our eyes on the prize, which is the statue thing and I did get hit there but that's fine so uh, honestly I'd say the easiest way to do it is just to fly really high up in the air that way you don't even have to use charges unless you really need to and then fly down towards it because you'll uh, stay away from everybody but yeah there we go so we got the statue also a pretty cool tidbit is how this is the 25th anniversary of the Academy doing this and it's also the 25th anniversary of Zelda that's why when this game came out it was kind of promoting that the 25th anniversary of Zelda and I thought that was pretty cool uh, and Zelda is gonna give us the prize so that's also pretty awesome <laughs> hey! Link Congratulations! Now we'd better get on with the ceremony.
Link, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways. I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. So you got the sail cloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too. Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh, sort of? You have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> Once again, you push me off. That is really uncool, Zelda, but let's go ahead and land. It's fairly easy, and there we go! <laughs> that was perfect! You're amazing, Link! like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Link, 
There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is that? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> 